Hi YouTube, I found some footage of my orchid mantises, um, so I thought I'd put it on here and show you. Um, so this is, sometimes when you throw in a cricket, um, the cricket pretends to be dead. That happens occasionally, and they just sort of lie there. Um, so this one, yeah, I threw it in. It looks like the cricket is way too big for the mantis, doesn't it? But these mantises, although they're small, um, they're really quite feisty, and they'll take really, really um full-size kind of jumbo crickets um so yeah this one this is quite an interesting bit of footage because she's looking at it and i'm thinking you know is the cricket um you know pretending to be dead or is it you know that it is actually sort of <laughs> dying should i take it out um because maybe she's not going to kind of react maybe she's not going to eat it because it's um it's not moving enough maybe i should put a fresh cricket in instead so I watch for a little while and then I get a bit bored and I think I'll 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 take this cricket out and I'll put a, a new one in and watch what happens. She gra <laughs> she grabs it off me. She's like, Don't take that away, I want it and she takes it off me and starts eating. Um so yeah, this um species of mantis really uh fantastic kind of species to keep. Um when you buy them as babies, um you can tell the the males from the females quite easily and just because they're a lot smaller and kind of thinner and it's a good idea to stagger the feeding because what you want to happen is you want the females to become adult so do their final molt and be adult and ready to breed and then you want your males um, ideally to kind of shed and do their final molt because what happens if you feed them the same amount of uh, crickets at the same time, they um, they grow and the males grow too fast and they become adult too quickly and then quite often they die off before the females have had their final molt uh, and then you can't use them for breathing. So what you've got to do is yes, yeah, stagger it and just make sure that you're feeding uh, the females a lot more and get them to adulthood um, sooner. With this species they're usually white but um, quite often you get them where they're really pink. I was quite lucky because I bought two um, females and two males and one of my females was really white and the other one had quite a lot of pink tinges to her. Um, so this is what they look like when they're nymphs. Um, this is the stage just before becoming an adult uh, and when they are adult they get uh, wings so they look quite different. Um, right, there's a clip just about to come up where um, I'm feeding another one a cricket. Uh, so if you watch, it's really quick, this. Watch this. I literally drop it in and it jumps and she catches it. It just shows like the lightning fast reflexes of these guys. They're like continuously looking for food and they're so greedy. I mean, look at the size of this cricket and it. this mantis will easily take this cricket. It will just sit there and it will literally chew all of it until <laughs> it's completely gone occasionally like a cricket like will drop a leg or something that will fall off but um pretty much every bit of this cricket just goes into the mantis and not none of it is wasted if the mantis can help it um you can see the poor cricket here stays alive for quite a long time as she actually like literally eats him to death yeah, I have actually seen it where a, a mantis will grab a cricket and eat it sort of backwards, you know, where it, it eats from the back end of the cricket towards the head. Uh, and the poor cricket can still be alive when it's literally just a, a head and a few legs left. Um, so basically, if you're a cricket, I think you you really want to kind of pray that if you get uh, caught by a mantis, that it eats your head first so that you're um, dead as quickly as possible. Um but yeah, these guys, they get through quite a lot of crickets in their lifetime. Um, they are just um, guzzling machines, basically. Yeah, so the males of this species are really tiny compared to the females as adults. Um, so if you imagine if this one was an adult, um, the male would be less than the size of the abdomen um, of this one. Um, so really tiny. And what happens is... Um, she will walk about and the male will be on top of her abdomen the whole time, either um, mating with her uh, or just kind of hitching a lift. 
he just literally is probably the safest place to be to be honest if you're a male mantis you don't want to be in front of the female because she'll probably just eat you so actually just being on top of her on her back riding around definitely the safest place to be and the males are winged as well as adults um, and they they fly about more than the females do the females um, tend not to fly they tend to just walk about but the males um, yeah you you can lose them easily so you've got to be careful uh, because they'll just uh, fly out of a window if you had an open window you've got to be really yeah really careful yeah I thought this species was going to be really um, delicate to keep um, and I was really worried you know when I first got them but actually they're really hardy species um, I've kept big mantises a lot like um, uh, African sphodro mantis and that sort of thing uh, and also I've kept uh, European prey mantises and bred those as well um, and they're really hardy but these guys I think they're, they're just as hardy as the European uh, prey mantis and uh, not far off I would say the um, giant African um, sphodro mantis as well so I thoroughly recommend these if you can get hold of some um, it is obviously worth trying to breed them uh, and try and get a male and a female but um, even as an individual um, specimen they'd be really nice uh, to keep you you'd enjoy it because uh, they are really greedy feeders and really fun to watch uh, and just really kind of beautifully marked as well and yeah if you could set them up more naturalistically if you had a, a bigger cage with an orchid in it uh, it could just sit on the orchid and and uh, be an amazing kind of display piece in a room as well okay here's another one tucking into a cricket this yeah this is my one that's got some pink tinges to it and as an adult the pink comes through even more as well so they can look even more amazing especially if you place them like on a pink orchid as well uh, it looks really kind of natural um, so yeah look this one's eating the head of the cricket first uh, which is good news for this particular cricket uh, and same with this one so they only take about 10 minutes to eat a cricket that is sort of half the size weight for weight of the actual mantis um, okay thanks for watching um, check out my other videos of other um, invertebrates that I've kept uh, and other exotic pets too uh, hit subscribe to see any new videos that I post up in the future See you in the next video.